Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'll show you how you can play PlayStation 4 games on your PC using the Shad PS4 emulator, which is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Shad PS4 homepage, which I've linked in the description. And then once you're there, scroll down to the releases section and then click on the latest release button. And then once you're here, scroll down to the assets section. And here you'll notice a number of zip files. So there are downloads for Linux Linux, Mac, and Windows. In this video, I'll be using Windows, so I'm going to go to Shad PS4 Win64 QT, and then just click it to download. And then once you've downloaded the zip file, you need to extract it into its own folder. Excellent, so once you've extracted the zip file, you should end up with a folder that looks like this. On the left-hand side, I've made a separate folder called Game, and in here, I've got my PS4 ROM that I'm going to be using with Shad PS4. Sadly, I can't tell you where to get the PlayStation 4 ROMs from. You'll have to Google that yourself. So the next thing we need to do is create a new folder, which will essentially act as a hard drive where our PlayStation 4 games will get installed to. So you could create a new folder here, maybe like this, for example, new folder and call it installed games for example, but you can name it whatever you want and you could actually create the folder wherever you want on your computer. It doesn't necessarily have to be in this location. Great, let's open up the Shad PS4 folder and then you'll see Shad PS4.exe and you want to open it. Excellent, once you've got Shad PS4 open, you need to go to settings and then go to game install directory. And then you'll see this pop-up appear and what you need to do is click on browse and then navigate to the folder you just created where you will install your games. So I've made a folder on my C drive called PS4 PKG but you can create the folder wherever you want and name it whatever you want it shouldn't really matter and then press OK to confirm. Right so the next thing we need to do is install a game to that folder we just created. So I'm assuming you have your PS4 game ready to install. So to install a game you need to go to file and then go to install packages and then select it. So the types of games we can install on Shad PS4 are generally PKG files. So you have two types of PKG files that I'm aware of. You have the base game and then you have the updates for the base game. You can only install updates if you have the base game installed. So I believe this is the base game here and I'm just going to press open to confirm and there we go the installation process has completed and if I press OK you'll notice the game appear on your list. And now what we can do is install the update for it too. So go back to file, install packages, select the update and go to open. And then it says patch detected. So the base game installed is version 1 and the patch is version 1.03. And here you can see the version number 1. If you press yes, press OK and you notice the version for this game has gone up to 1.3. So let's take a quick look at the settings and go to configure and you'll notice the settings menu is a little bit sparse at the moment but hopefully with time we'll get some more options. Let's have a look at graphics. Here you can select which graphics hardware you want to use. I'll be using my discrete graphics card in this case and over here you can set your window resolution. I'll just be sticking with 720p for the moment. Then once you're happy with your choices go to save. Excellent so now I think we're good to try again. Game. In order to launch your game, just double click on the game from your list and we can minimize Shad PS4. And there we have it. We have a PlayStation 4 game running on PC using Shad PS4. I'm using a regular Xbox Bluetooth controller to run it and the controller seems to have automatically configured itself. So I've not had to map any of the buttons. But as you can see, the game's running with pretty good performance. Anyway, I hope you found this video educational. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.